Hello and welcome to GAK. I'm Joe. I'm Mark. And today we're looking at the Orange Omic Teleport. Okay, so I think a lot of people are a little bit confused uh, about exactly what this product is. Yeah, I mean, I was in instantly. <laughs> you don't know what this is. I do know. Well, I do now. Now you've explained to me. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. I think you know. I'm with thousands, millions of other people that. When this got announced, everyone was a bit like, this is a weird product. Okay, so this is made by Orange, but they have branded it under Omec, which is uh, like a, a previous sort of business name that, that, that Orange use. And there, there is a very good reason for that, but I think that's confused people off, you know, for, from the start. Because Orange have made effects pedals, which you might think this is. Orange have been, they've released like their Kong Presser, their Fuzz, they've got a great ABY, their Getaway Driver. Um, this is something completely different, which is why they've branded it Omec. This is, to put it in very simple, straightforward terms, a sound card for your pedal board. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's fair. Yeah, exactly. And, and what I mean by that is you're going to plug your guitar in at one end, you're going to plug your amplifier in at the other, and then using this USB-B um, connector in the top, you can run that into your laptop, uh, into your phone, into your iPad, and then you can access um, any any plugins, apps, or your door things like Logic, and you can use any of the effects in there, as well as as well as loads of other things. So we downloaded a couple of bits that we want to have a look at. We want to check this out with this. Uh, there's a free app called MIDI Guitar, um, which with just the use of this pedal and a laptop is gonna allow us to turn our guitar into various other instruments. Any, anything you want it to be. Synths, yeah. pianos. So that's that's essentially what this can do. This can be that. At the same time, because you have access to, you, you can plug this into your phone and open GarageBand and you could use the amp presets on there. It's got this second out here so you can run like a direct signal for recording as well or if you're using this live to the front of house. So as in like the same thing that you're using Line 6 Helix is for, um, you've now got access to everything that's on Logic or Cubase or Pro I mean, it's, it's It's kind of mind-blowing. Like, and, and, and I remember we were having the conversation yesterday that, that it seems like an obvious thing for someone to have done already, and no one has. Yeah. Like, um, I just find that, you know. It's an interface in a pedal board. Friendly. It just seems obvious. Yeah, it's not like Orange or it's not like Orange have have sort of reinvented the wheel by creating this. It's something that's been available in a, just a different size for a long time. But just making it this easy and simple uh, to plug into an amplifier that can be anything. And it's so small, like small, lightweight, and cheap, right? Exactly, <laughs> and like ninety nine pounds, which which is ridiculous. You definitely have space on your pedal board for one of these, and you can use it for anything. We'll we'll try and show you some cool things and some weird things that you can use this for. But honestly, this is impossible to do a video for because it is a limitless. It has limitless functionality. Okay, so we've opened our our door, in this case, Logic. Um, we're just gonna use some of the built-in things from Logic to show you what you can do uh, with this, but obviously, plugins are pretty much endless, so there's no limit to what you can do. These are just some of the basic bits that are available on Logic. So at the moment, I've gone into electric guitar, I've gone into um, to the clean guitar options, and you know I can select any of these different amps. Um, this is a brick clean. It's got like chicken picking, cool jazz combos, an echo stack. Obviously, there's tons of things that you can choose from there. When it's coming out of your amp, bear in mind that this is using like an amp preset, so it might not be exactly what you want, but for recording, this is, you know, this is still perfect. Where this becomes really cool is uh, if we open up one of these amps, we can actually have a butcher's, we can add some effects. So if we just go to our, our pedal board here, uh, obviously with, with, with each of the presets in Logic, you get um, a couple of uh, a couple of effects built in, but let's build our own and see what weird sounds uh, we can make. Ooh, yeah, they have a Digitech whammy, which we can, which we can uh, manually use. Let's let's make this a bit more. Mm -hmm. 
We can get some delay on the top of that. So let's uh, what do they keep delays in here. Let's have some of this. Let's reverse that. Let's get that feedback going. The, the the things you can do with it are pretty much limitless because it's it depends on what plugin you're using. These are just the basic ones, the ones that come standardly with Logic. I mean, you can pretty much make any sound, get any plugin, yeah, and turn your guitar into anything you want to turn it into. Exactly, exactly. I mean, just uh, just staying on Logic uh, for a minute. We we don't just have to kind of build our own from scratch. Uh, they have some really cool things. If you go into Electric guitar and bass. They have these. Uh, ooh, uh, they have the, all these uh, pre-built um, things uh, in the experimental guitar area. So you've got like all these crazy. basically tons of things you can do just uh, inside of your normal door. Outside of that, there are loads of apps that you can uh, you can download onto your laptop. Don't forget, you can kind of do this. You don't have to use a laptop. You can you can get a converter for this uh, USB B so that you can pop it into your iPhone or phone and uh, and iPad things like that as well. Um, there are some other cool things like one of the ones we wanted to check out was MIDI guitar. Um, yeah, I was, yeah, I was having a little play with this earlier and, and got like a piano sound up. And yeah. Should we do that now? Let's, yeah, let's, let's find a piano. I think what's okay. really odd as well is like, the first thing I noticed is trying to play a piano on a guitar. Because <laughs> automatically you just, you know, there's a there's a certain kind of, you know, way you play a guitar, which is very different from, from playing the piano. So yeah, sure. Trying to... <coughs> have you got it up? Yeah, yeah. This is... So you can't do the whole... No. Definitely don't try and vibrato on the piano mode. But if you do something like that... But it is quite an odd... Yeah, well there are loads of things you can do. Like this is MIDI guitar. This has like a free app, so there's loads of free stuff for you to try out. Um, there was a another really cool sound on here called Strano I'll Sing For You, which I think sounds... It reminds me a lot of the, the Korg Miku pedals. Um, and what's super cool about MIDI guitar is I can control all these things, all these, uh, all these delays and harmonics. But there's loads you can do, and that's just like a free version of a piece of software that you can use. There's loads of things that you can use in it. So that was the Orange Omic Teleport, an actual sound card for your pedal board. A pedal that can pretty much be anything you want it to be. But what do you want it to be? Please let us know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please give us a like and a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>